Hello, today we are taking a look at the Samsung Z Tizen OS based smartphone. This phone is Samsung's first smartphone using the Tizen Linux operating system. Samsung plans to offer this phone in Russia later this year, but has not announced plans for a Tizen based phone elsewhere. So what's new here? Well, the handset itself is a phone handset. It has very similar design to other Samsung devices. Comfortable slope, though, is one distinguishing factor. And we have a small IR port on top and the heart rate sensor back here next to the flash. But what's really of interest here is not just the hardware, but of course the actual software. This is our first look at a Samsung version of the Tizen OS, and as such, we need to take a look at how it's actually presented. As you can see here, Samsung has chosen to make the OS look very similar to what we're used to in Android. You see that there's a widget, weather widget here, or dynamic box as it's called in the Tizen universe. We have a clock, and there are just variations that you can put up there. As in Android, you swipe down and you'll find your notifications, access to quick uh, setting features, and this even is very resembling to what you're used to elsewhere on Android. Here it makes it simple for connecting to other devices like the Samsung Gear 2 watch. And once more, just going back to the settings, as you can see, scrolling through there, lots of quick connections, and once again, these settings look very similar. The color scheme can be adjusted and even can match what it is that you have chosen as your wallpaper. Let's go back to the main screen. Here, you'll see that there are eight shortcut buttons to frequently used apps. You swipe up, those eight remain docked at the top, and then you have access to all the other but apps that you have on your phone. These apps look very similar in design, aside from the fact that they are a circular icon as opposed to a square icon. And many of the apps have echoes of Android. So if you want to use a phone, That keypad does look very similar to what we're used to elsewhere. We'll be sure to hear more about the Tizen OS as the months go on. Thank you for watching.